first time in five years. It's Monday night football time in the great jazz capital of the world, the colorful city of New Orleans, Louisiana. And somehow in this graceful old southern town, they managed to combine the old and the new, give you a sense of the contemporary and even sometimes the strange. But for tonight, a high tension in the town because right in here, in the Louisiana Superdome, the Saints, only a half game behind the Rams in the NFC West, need a victory to gain a tie and for the first time maybe make the playoffs in the NFL. They play the Raiders tonight. Who are the Saints? Let's look at the men who lead them. Number 42 is Chuck Munson. A man of enormous ability out of California. The man who can run, who can catch, who can block, who can throw the option pass. And they are also led by the quarterback, Archie Manning, who now has one of the most gifted receivers in football to throw to, Wes Chandler. Others leading the pack, Tony Galbraith, Ike Harris, and Henry Child. So tonight, Monday night, football, New Orleans against Oakland. almost synonymous with Bourbon Street here in New Orleans. The game coming up for the New Orleans Saints. Much excitement. They need a win tonight to tie the Rams in the Western Division of the NFC. They have high hopes that they can for the first time ever Howard go to the playoffs. Well, Frank, Kenny Stabler, the bearded leader of the Oakland Raiders. And Archie Manning, named by many of the polls as the player of the year a year ago in the NFC. Chuck Muncy, Tony Graub, but you've heard of them. An offensive line that's had to be adjusted over the year. Conrad Dover, 66, you've heard of him. He likes the attention, but he's a fine guard. The wide receivers are Ike Harris, Wes Chandler, you saw in the kickoff. He can do it all. He can go deep. He works well underneath, does Wes Chandler. And this man, Archie Manny, can get the football to him. Quick note on the tight end, Henry Childs, one of the finest tight end receivers in the league today. On first down. Handoff inside and it's Chuck oh, Muncy. He oh. finds an opening and Muncy is out over the 35. First down. Mike Davis had to make the save defensively for the Oakland Raiders and let's meet them. They've had to adjust dramatically because of injuries over the year. Dave Browning, best. That's Rio. Ted Hendricks, you know about him. He's always around the football. And defensively in the secondary. Jack, Jack Tatum roams at the free safety number 32. The cornerbacks, Lester Hayes, 37, and Henry Williams, a rookie from San Diego State, number 45, at the right cornerback position. The ball out over the 35, just inside the 37, first and 10. Muncie and Galbraith, what a running pair they are. Muncie, 42, and he has the football, following Galbraith. Uh, he does a lot of things like that. Ira Matthews is deep for Oakland. Beautiful punt by Partridge. Matthews all the way back to his 13-yard line. And he gets it back out to the 22, a 47-yard punt by Rick Partridge. So Oakland will have their first possession of the night, and they'll begin from the 22-yard line. We'll be back in the Superdome in just a moment. A very calm, relaxed Kenny Stabler came off what many considered a bad year a year ago. And you saw a quick look at his stats. We'll develop that further as we take a look at the entire offense. Stabler, the quarterback, of course. Arthur Whittington, second-year man out of SMU, one set back number 22, along with Mark Van Egan. Van Egan looking for a possible fourth consecutive thousand-yard season at fullback. Wide receiver change is Rich Martini, number 89. There he is in motion. Van Egan gets the call, and he is nailed at the line of scrimmage defensively. Don Reese for the New Orleans Saints. And look at the offensive line. Art Shell, well, they say he's about 275. He looks like more like 300, but he is effective over the left side, as is Gene Upshaw. They're the key to the open offensive line, along with Dave Dalby. Wide receiver, we've told you, is Cliff, uh, rather, Rich Martini replacing Cliff French tonight. The two tight end offensive open is in there. 
Casper, 87. Raymond Chester, number 88. 93 receptions this season between them. Stabler on second and 10. Has the time. Over the middle, and it's complete Van Egan. And Van Egan out to the 30-yard line. Short of the first down. It'll be third down and two. Ken Bordelon was there. And let's take a look at the 4-3 of head coach Dick Nolan. He surprised everyone a little bit because he is definitely a 4-3 fan, having been trained under Tom Landry. He went to a 3-4 last week. Those are the linebackers. And there are the defensive secondaries, Tom Myers, with six interceptions at free safety for New Orleans. Third down, two for the Oakland Raiders. And uh, Van Egan, he has the first down. Uh, Stabler. A lot of time, can't find a receiver, and he finds Chester. <laughs> he did. Touchdown. Now that's slick, isn't and it? And when he can look all over <laughs> the field like that, you know there is no pass rush pressure at all. Let's see. I think he really was trying to throw over to the other side. He's trying to hit. Yeah, he's waving. Where did everybody go? He turns around. That's what I think he does really well, Howard. When he's really on, he can throw the ball. It just looks so pretty. The thing never ripples at all. Chester's coming out, trying to open up the secondary. I would say more than likely. Four minutes and 33 seconds remaining from a jam-packed Superdome in Orleans. We'll be back. But all of us know that it really means an awful lot more down there. When you see a guy that's that big, that strong, that can carry somebody for a couple of yards, you're going to score points when ordinarily other teams won't. And a good look at a former teammate of mine, Dick Nolan, eight years, head coach of San Francisco, trained and played under Tom Landry, believes in the 4-3 flex, believes in his principles, I believe. Third down, quick toss, Galbraith. He bowls in. Uh -huh. Touchdown, New Orleans. I tell you, he deserves credit for that one. <laughs> he really forced his own way. He did. He had J.T. Taylor out there in front of him. As you see a shot of the crowd, they're going wild. Yeah, wait, Tony man. Galbraith himself is a 230-pounder, and you saw it in action right then. The pom-poms, much in evidence. Look at it again. Look at J.T. Taylor trying to get out there. Galbraith says, I can't wait on you, fellow. I got to go. That's exactly yeah. what happened. He passed his would-be blocker and forced his way in. Garo Yepremian. Again, he has been a lifesaver. Released by Miami, and they kept Uwe von Schaumann. That's an Ertz Levin went down. And Gary Premium came in, and he ties it up at 7. 13-30, remaining in the first half. Good, solid, hard play football. Third and six. Crowd chanting. Defense. Stabler to Casper, incomplete intercepted. Uh-oh, he's gone. Eric Felton, he could take it a long way. Taken by Dave Castor, but not until the ball that was deflected and returned by Felton was moved to the 19-yard line. And somebody really put a shot on Casper downfield. You saw it, and he was the man who made the save down at the 19. Once again, Frank Kinney's got plenty of time to throw. You see Casper coming over the other side. He just couldn't. Whoa, he sure did get hit. Ray Brown hit him. Ray Brown. Now watch, Casper will get on his feet, Don, and run Felton down. Eric Felton out of Texas Tech. Ray Brown out of West Texas Tech. Manning wide open over the middle. Oh, what a, we Cal told you Galbraith was a receiver. Oh. Tony Galbraith. Uh, uh, oh, a truly great catch on the... Graphic we showed you earlier, I said there was a point I wanted to make. Galbraith had 214 receptions, that's his 250. Chuck Muncy had 108. This is why we talked about Galbraith's ability as a receiver. It is super. That Look is it. unbelievable. He even turned in the air and right. reached back with the right hand and got it. Not bad coverage that time by Monty Johnson. Yeah, Premier, on for the conversion. Super effort by Tony Galbraith. Got 45 receptions coming into tonight. They use him like a tight end. And New Orleans, much <laughs> to the happiness of this jam-packed crowd, has moved out on top. We'll look again. Well, I just want to sit back and watch it. The ball was, actually, I thought it was going to be overthrown, and it would have been most of the time. 
Hard to cover. Monty, Monty Johnson's job, a very difficult one, covering a very speedy Galbraith coming out of that backfield on that tight circle. Almost impossible. That looks, yeah, that's a headache right there. There's no question about that. New Orleans Saints, they're on top by seven. Six minutes remaining in the first half. Screen in the middle, and it's Galbraith with running room. Oh, me. Oh, me. Huge hole. Look at that. Oh. oh. Now that is beautiful, spectacular running by Muncie. Oh. To the three, first and goal. Mike Davis saved the touchdown, made a pretty good tackle. But man, you're right, is this smooth. And look at the big hole up there. They think they got him a really good center, potential all pro center, John Hill. Muncie just goes through there. That's a good block. That was Chandler block right there. Davis came over and put the stop. Nice block by Chandler to stream down that far. Saints are playing inspired football. 31-yard pickup by Chuck Muncy. Second and goal. Muncy. No question this time. Straight away, let's just try to hold them down. Villapiano try to get there. They all get there a little bit late. That might have just a nice move. Just too you. much of Chuck Munson. 6'3, 235 pounder. Garo Yafremian on for the conversion. The young Saints, not at all awed by the incredible winning record of the Oakland Raiders over the years. on first and ten. This is the football. Oh. The Los Saints in the area. This Alex Price it just comes slipped. up with it for New Orleans. Slipped out of his hand. So this New Orleans team, totally inspired, has a chance to build up what could be an insurmountable lead. I think you're right. He tried to pull it back down. It came back, swinging the ball, and it just... Slipped out of his hand. We talked about runners doing that. Alex Price comes up with it for New Orleans. Manning crossing his backs. Going for Tiles. Oh, oh. Touchdown. Henry Tiles. Oh, oh, marvelous oh. catch. Oh, is Manning throwing pinpoint passes. And does he have the receivers to get them? What a performance in the first half by that quarterback. Well, Howard, it's just amazing. Again, I, I call it a good throw, but once again, what a terrific catch. Man, that was, that ball was right in there. Henry Childs, he's just got so much balance on offense. All the receivers, you see Childs coming off the line. He, they may better start top stopping him at the line. Again, not bad defensive coverage, but he's got speed enough just to kind of run away from him, stretch out there and take it. And I'll Ooh. tell you, once again, the defender, in this case, Mike Davis, was not in bad position. That ball was thrown where uh -huh. it had to be thrown, just the way it was. Can't you see a you saying, oh, shucks, guys, yeah. there's nothing. We used to do that out in Drew, Mississippi every once in a while. Hello, Huck. They said he looked like Huckleberry Finn and he had brittle bones. They said, who's that funny looking guy, red-headed guy down there in group? His high school team never won more than they lost. They won five and lost five. I can't believe it myself. Garo, you from the end conversion. Oh, Manny. And the Royal of the age of seven of the Raiders will be back. 14 seconds and a half. Third down and 12. Stabler. Hangs it in the end zone. A flag goes oh, down. Man. Defensively, back there was Eric Felton, along with Ralph McGill. Now that's and it's it. Against New Orleans, nine seconds on the clock. It'll go to the one-yard line, first and goal. Now, what do you do? Do you throw? Well, defensive pass interference in the end zone, number 20 on the defense. Be a first down on the one-yard line. First 
Felton goal on the wall. Eric Felton, the man yeah. who got New Orleans started with an interception, guilty of the call. Now keep in mind, Oakland does not have a timeout. I don't think you can not afford it. Uh, nine to run. seconds. You can't run. You've no. got to, you can throw twice, but you can't run unless you make it. Well, that's true. Play action. Casper misses. Clock to stop with four seconds. Uh, now your tight. decision. You're down 28 to seven. Do you get a sure three points? Well, maybe a sure because Oakland remembers <laughs> against Kansas City. That's right. That's exactly. You go for it. You're gonna go, go for it. I think this again is a place where if you have the rollout quarterback, you do have the added dimension down there in a situation like this with no timeouts, where he can roll to the outside. And Kenny might be able to do that. I don't know that they can do that kind of play, but I haven't seen him do it in a long time. This will be an interesting call. It's your last, last play, play of the game. You can run. You can give it to Van Egan, perhaps. That's right. Whittington gets the call, gets the touchdown. All right. That's We've got a new ball game. That was well handled. That was fun. the last play any way you could run. The Saints and the Raiders have taken the field once again as we are moments away from the beginning of the second half. We look at the statistics. New Orleans, who piled up at one point a club record 28 points in one quarter, 28 unanswered points. They did it with a couple of turnovers on the part of the Oakland Raiders, a deflected pass that was intercepted, and a fumble by Stabler, both leading to New Orleans touchdowns. At the beginning of the ball game, New Orleans had marched the length of the field, looked like they were going to control it. They had talked about ball control. They did just that. New Orleans settled down. They came right back and marched off a touchdown drive of their own that took over six minutes. And then it was all New Orleans until the final two minutes and 18 seconds when Kenny Stabler took his team from the 21-yard line the length of the field. He had a lot of help from a defensive <laughs> infraction by Eric Felton in the end zone. The story, 28 to 14, but it's far from over. The story, Chuck Muncie, among others. Third and two. Stabler with Look play out, action. Kenny. Picked off. Oh, oh, no. No. Good good Touchdown, New Orleans. Hello. Kenny knows under terrible pressure. He released the ball when he shouldn't have. He got hit when he did it, too. Ken Bordelon, who played his collegiate football here at LSU. Second interception this season, and it puts the Saints up for another touchdown. A little play action fake. You'll see... Coming from the outside, man, they just really put a good one on him. That was Bennett. Barry Bennett got there. Kenny got off very slowly and is walking off the sideline. I think you're right. He tried to force it a little bit. This oftentimes happens. He knows he got to get him there. There's a little pressure. He's seen him try to move. He's trying to get it away. Desperation. Just desperation. Well, that was a pretty good interception. Bordelon went way up in the air to get it. Uh, good athlete, Frank. Really a good all-round athlete. He had a bruised knee earlier in the game and was out for a few plays. Obviously, the bruise feels better now. The premium on a very busy night. <laughs> and New Orleans. He's the Raiders, 35-14. We have the third quarter remaining we will be back in a moment first and goal oakland van egan touchdown oakland look pretty easy all right i like that young man tom flores he you can, know he is a, a composed guy yeah. he keeps control of himself he has uh, as far as the records go he threw for 407 yards one time as a quarterback for these oakland raiders and kenny staber has yet to match that particular yardage production Second on the all-time hits, so he's a good quarterback for him. Stepped in and a really kind of an unusual situation. Out uh, there, they're building, transition period. And tough for him, but I think he's held his composure very well. Jim Breach for the conversion. And Oakland draws closer. Well, within two touchdowns with 301 remaining in the third quarter. 35-21, the Saints. Stabler, Branch, first down inside the 20. Now oh, that's pretty, isn't it? 
That's just like automatic. A quick, quick. There he goes. Stepped out of bounds. Got him a big first down. I don't think I have ever seen, as we look at Branch isolated, Don. Well, he's got it. Eric Felton is a second-year guy, and he's certainly seen and heard a lot about Cliff Branch. He's not going to give him a lot of time. He's giving him too much space to run over there. And I would imagine Kenny's fouled that back in there, and he'll come back and use it again. They're playing off of him in those corners pretty, pretty far. Branch out to the right. The first down is at the 17-yard line. Ramsey's intended. He's all open. alone. How do you like all this? All alone. We got ourselves a good one. Oh, nice. what a ball game this is turning out to be. Derek Ramsey, touchdown Stabler. We emphasize again. Stabler shaken up, apparently out of the game. Plunkett going in form, and Stabler insisting on going back. Well, we saw this Oakland Raider team set a scoring record for Monday Night Football when they hit 45 against San Diego on a Thursday night. And this one is not over yet, as they say. Somebody said that before, haven't they? Wide open, though. Again, they're really picking that secondary part. Uh, the defensive teams, there's a reason, I guess, why they're so far down in those standings. Maybe those statistics do mean something. The tight ends for Oakland have caught well over 100 passes. Ramsey, Casper, and Chester. This is Breach. And Oakland draws within a touchdown and a conversion of time this game up. And watch Derek Ramsey doing a little Baryshnikov in the end zone to keep the feet in. Well, this Derek Ramsey's a guy that we don't hear a lot of. It's primarily because the guys that they have out there in front of him. But he did a good job. He had that thing in there. And he's uh, certainly had that drill before. How you keep it in there. 12.51 remaining in this game. Don't go away. Complete. Cliff Branch, and oh, what a move. Good Look by. out. Oh, ho. Catch him. Goodbye. There are no flags down. Is that wild? That happened fast. 3.19 still left in the game. Cliff Branch, who was a 9-3 sprinter in his days at the University of Colorado, when he gets the running room, you can write it off. He can really motor. Well, it was uh, not anything fancy, just one of little outside. Look at that move he put on Eric Feldman. Wow. What a beautiful block right there. Let's see if we can get that guy's number. The oh. man who threw the block. Eric Feldman is, going, is the second-year guy trying to recover, but this is the move right there. No, no way close. It was Whittington that has made that block. That's right. Uh, it's other Arthur Whittington. Whittington. Now let's see, Breach in the kind of position he was in against Kansas City when he missed this very kick on the field goal that would have tied the game. Actually, he was closer than this by about a yard. Maybe that threw him off. Right through the middle. We're tied at 35 with 319 <laughs> remaining in the game. At one point, New Orleans with a 21-point lead. Then Stabler got hot. 218 left. The length of the field to get Oakland within 14 points. Uh, Somebody called the fumble, and this is Mike Davis. I heard. Oh, no. How about now that? Now this is Ted Hendricks. I don't believe this. Somebody was calling fumble. You saw the ball come out of the hands of Muncie. Coming up with it was Mike Davis. He got the ball downfield to Hendricks, and Oakland is threatening. The Frank, fan, Frank, the fans here are absolutely stunned. Well, I don't blame him. My gosh, I heard that fumble, 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 and he fumble is trying to change hands. And he did it by his, completely on his own. Nobody even hit him. He Talk just about the ball. Stakes. How about this one as he's going? Oh, that's got to be bring. They got to bring it back, haven't they? Yeah. It should have been brought back, but it's being marked at the 13. Oh well. <laughs> Hendricks made sure though. Look at Ted. What an incredible football game this has turned out to be. Two minutes, 21 seconds left. Tied at 35, and Oakland threatening. Whittington. Cuttersfield made the stop, but not until Whittington had moved to the nine. A gain of three, it'll be second and seven. First down could be accomplished at the three-yard line. Stabler. Cliff Branch, touchdown. Cliff Branch oh, was spectacular. He was, well, I won't say bench, but he did not start tonight, but he is... Been the determining factor for Oakland here in the second half. He certainly has, and Stabler with him, and what a remarkable comeback. This team that held its poise. I go back to what Dandy said earlier. This team knows how to win. 
the young New Orleans team must learn how to win. I do think it's one of those intangibles that sounds really hokey, but you do have to learn how to do it. A good move by Branch, but the ball was drilled right in there between the two and the one. Very crucial third situation, third and five. So now they've given New Orleans something to really shoot for. Breach. Relief etched on his face. That's good. And the Raiders have taken the lead for the first time tonight, 42-35. Coming from the outside, that's working on Clarence Chapman. Into the inside, they just couldn't keep him out of it. The ball was well thrown, a good route, one to the inside. Far from over, 154 remaining. Archie Manning will have a couple of timeouts to work with. Lester Hayes hugging Cliff Branch. Stabler. And coming in was number 90, Willie Jones. The party. Manning goes down. It's Oakland's football. They say that all good things must end. Eat your heart out, you Permian. They call oh, it. Here comes denied. Willie Jones, the rookie from Florida State, getting away from the block of J.T. Taylor. And down goes Manny. 96 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Came off the mat here in the second half to go 10 of 20 for 149 yards and three touchdowns. Tell me, Ken Stabler's washed up. He's as good as they come when he's on. That's it, Dandy. Yep. See you in San Diego. You got it, pal. Pittsburgh and Houston coming up next Monday night, followed by San Diego and Denver on the final Monday night of ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. And the final score, Oakland 42, New Orleans 35.